Hello everyone, for today's video we take a look at a transitional CZ75. While not an official term adopted by CZ, a transitional model was generally those manufactured from 1992 to 1995. And on these particular pistols, that's when you began to see the square trigger guard with the front serrations on them. The slide now featured the new logo, CZ75, and Cal 9 Luger, whereas on the previous models it had their earlier logo, Model 75, and Cal 9 Para. Another difference on the transitional model, which is on the current production ones as well, the front sight is held in place by a roll pin. Though obviously on this one there is no front sight base, it's now dovetailed in on this compensator which I'll address in a moment. At this time, you also began to see the new rounded hammer as well, whereas, for instance, on the 91 CZ I have, it still has the spur hammer. Though, of course, the new 75Bs do have a slightly different hammer. Also, at this time, the new thumb safety was implemented. You might not be able to see it too well, but on this thumb safety, there is a small hole which you insert a tool, or like many people, including myself, you just use a paper clip when you go to take the safety out. That paper clip actually contains the spring and detent. For some reason, I forgot to do that one time, and not on this Model 75, but on a different one. I spent the better part of an evening trying to get that spring and detent back in place. One thing I am relatively grateful on this particular 75 is it does have the blued finish. Whereas my 84 Model 75 has the ridiculous enamel paint finish. Now obviously this CZ75 is a bit different than the other transitional models that are out there. This particular pistol did see a bunch of work done to it by the company Franconia over in Germany. The most obvious one being the added compensator. In addition to the compensator, it does have an adjustable trigger and rear sight. While looking into Franconia, I couldn't find too much about the company other than the fact that they are a sporting goods store in Germany which offers gunsmithing services. In addition to that, I have seen a few other CZs which were modified by them available on Gunbroker, which of course is where I got this one. One question I did ask the seller was, when the gun cycles, does the compensator remain stationary? They replied back to me and said, yes it does. Which I'm glad it does because if it just reciprocated with the slide and went over the barrel, it looked relatively stupid. Now of course the first compensated pistol I ever saw was the 1911s used by Thomas Shane and the Punisher. Of course, the other film that comes to mind where you see a compensated pistol is The Professional. Now with this compensator, I didn't feel any less recoil when shooting this firearm. Maybe it's just me, but I didn't see a difference. Something that's great about this particular compensator, it's not permanently attached to the barrel. So when you go to take it apart, you just unthread it and it comes right off. Which makes cleaning very simple. This particular pistol came from the Attic Imports out of Minot, North Dakota. And a question I had for them after I won the auction is where this particular handgun came from. And I wasn't too surprised when they told me Germany merely because the company Franconia is based in that country. This particular pistol was made in 1995, marking the end of the actual transitional phase of the firearms. From that point forward, and the sources I'm reading anyway, all the changes implemented now became permanent. And what I mean by that is the controls are much larger, the safety spring and detent are now contained in the frame for some of the back side of the safety, and the front side is much easier to change. If anything, the transitional period of the Model 75s is the ideal version of these guns. Also, I should add, there's no firing pin block, which is really the big issue I have with the new pistols. Which, the firing pin block isn't horrible, but it's definitely a part I'm not fond of. As I stated in my original video featuring this gun, I wish CZ offered a model without the firing pin block. I've heard you could have them removed, but honestly, I'm just not even going to mess with it. Also, it just gives me an excuse to go after the earlier ones. Now, of course, this video wouldn't be complete without a trip to the range. Let's take a look, shall we?
grouping is pretty good. The rounds were hitting left, not low into the left. Actually, they were going high into the left. Not too high, but high enough. So next time I go and shoot, I'll be sure to bring a small screwdriver with me to make the proper adjustments. Transitional Model 75 was never at the forefront of my mind to get when I saw this one and I basically never shot a handgun anyway, which used a compensator. I figured, why not? Also, one with an adjustable trigger. Kind of nice. Well, that was just going to be a video on the Transitional Model 75. As always, have a good day. See ya.